That's truth. That's what we mean by truth. If, if the physicists want to use it some other way, they're really misleading you because that's not the way you guys use it. Can I just point out, we, we wouldn't have courts um, if it was that simple. Well, no, it, it is that simple. You promise to tell the truth and you think there are some things you do know. But the people truth are telling alternative truths, so. They're lying. Some people are <laughs> lying. <laughs>
Probably not. I have no problem saying that these theories, I mean, there can be theories that are, we know this from the history of science. There can be theories that we know are incorrect. But nonetheless, for practical purposes, they're fine. As you say, you want to send a, a rocket to Mars, you can use Newtonian gravity because the errors are going to be so small. Doesn't matter. Doesn't mean the theory is true. If all you care about is engineering, fine. I'm not an engineer. I don't care about engineering. I want to know how the world is, okay? How it really is. Are we ever going to get there? Who knows? We could. I mean, Democritus had a theory. He said all the physical universe is just these atoms, you know, geometrically shaped atoms in the void, and they move around, they bounce off each other. That theory, that's a very clear theory. It's wrong. Turned out not to be true. Could have been true, right? Will physicists ever come up with the correct theory? Who knows? Will, if they find it, will they know it is the correct theory? Probably not, because there are other theories, you know, the, in principle, there could be other theories that make all the same predictions. And so there's the question of what does the theory say? And then there's the question of what evidence do we have that the theory is correct? Now, I would just want to come back to social science and more generally, there's fundamental physics, which is very different from the social sciences and also from the other, you know, from biology, from chemistry. It, in fundamental physics, I believe there is a precise exact fundamental laws of physics that should be statable in sharp mathematical terms. Nowhere else do we expect that. I think you need to understand when you're doing social science and so on, you're dealing with language that's not, that can be a little vague, the language, that's okay. You can say true things with vague language, right? Um, so I have, I have no disrespect for those fields, but there are certain aspirations to fundamental physics which are very difficult and, and, and create very hard problems. And you shouldn't think all of science is infected with, them, right? I'll give you one final example. Here's a very simple example. We know people get ulcers. For many years, it was thought that ulcers are caused by stress. And because of that, they would tell people who had ulcers, oh, try to relax, take a vacation. And there were some dissident doctors who said, no, it's caused by a virus, right? Stop, peop stop blaming the people, their psychological state for their ulcers. And they, they, these were, they, they were all dismissed. I can't remember the man's in, in, in Australia. Finally, they isolated it, H. pylori, and the poor guy actually took it himself and got an ulcer <laughs> from drinking this. And now everybody agrees. Yeah, the truth is... All, you know, ulcers are called, caused by this virus, which is just to say, I mean, take the word truth out of it. Ulcers are actually caused by that virus. That's a great success, right? That's a wonderful success in medicine, helps people. Um, you know, the, the claims about climate change, the claims, and, and also claims in social psychology, uh, in, in social uh, and political systems. Well, what will happen if we in, inst institute this kind of change? Those things we want to get right. And that means we want to get at the truth. To continue watching this video, click the link in the top left or in the description below. Or visit iai.tv for more debates and talks from the world's leading thinkers on today's biggest ideas.